Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. Uh, today I'm excited to announce a new feature in FlySight Viewer. Uh, today we're announcing audio simulation. Uh, this uses the same audio engine that your FlySight does to create simulated audio tracks within FlySight Viewer. Uh, to do this, you need two things. One, you need the configuration file that you want to use on your FlySight. And two, you want to use a previous track uh, from a jump. There are two big advantages in this tool. Uh, one is it'll allow you to quickly iterate through changes in your configuration files. So you can try out different settings, uh, see how they sound, and adjust your configuration file accordingly. The second one is if you run into any troubles with audio, if it's not producing the audio you expect it to, then you can send us the configuration file and the jump, and we should be able to reproduce the problem here. So let's take a look at the tool. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open a track. This track uh, comes from Chris Geiler. Chris has been doing a bunch of work on new competition formats that involve groups of wingsuiters. Uh, so for this track, we have data and we also have a camera view, actually. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open the simulation view. So we go up to the window menu and go to simulation. And I'm going to put this over on the side of the screen on top of FlySight Configurator, and that way it's out of the way. There are three parts in the simulation window. Uh, at the top, we have all the settings that are used to generate audio. In the middle, we have a process button, which will actually generate the audio. And finally, on the bottom, we have playback controls, uh, similar to the video import window, uh, which will allow us to play through the generated audio. So the first thing we want to do here is select configuration file. So I'll click on these three dots to the right of root configuration. And we'll choose this config file here. Uh, this configuration file is going to indicate vertical speed using tones, and that's it for starters. Now if we wanted to, we could also add a selectable configuration. So if you're using selectable configurations, you can import both the root config file and the selected one. And if you're using customized audio, uh, you can click on this and you can uh, import custom audio folders. Uh, if you're not using custom audio, FlySight Viewer actually comes installed with uh, the standard set of, of audio files. And so you don't need to do anything here. And finally, down at the bottom here, uh, we actually have a box that tells us where the generated audio file is gonna go. Uh, and this would be useful, for example, if you wanted to overlay audio on your own video outside of FlySight Viewer. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the process button. Now, as soon as processing is done, uh, playback starts, and we hear that tone uh, that indicates that the FlySight just got a fix. We'll need to reprocess the data anytime we change the configuration file or if we load a new jump. Let's go ahead and look at the playback controls. So we can change the playback position in two ways. Uh, one, we can drag this position slider, or we can actually scroll on that slider as well to get fine control. Or if you want really fine control, uh, you can use the scrub dial over to the right here, and you can either use the scroll wheel on that, or you can drag it using the mouse. There are now two cursors over on the plot view. Uh, we see the black cursor, which follows my mouse, and we also see the dark gray cursor, which follows the, uh, the media position. The media cursor is controlled only by the controls in either the simulation view or the video playback view. Let's move this, uh, this cursor to just a few seconds before exit. Uh, maybe we'll go three seconds. And let's see what it sounds like. So we'll hit play. And there's exit. The tones start playing. You can see the pitch gets higher as our vertical speed gets higher. And it gets lower as the vertical speed gets lower. You can also see that on the steep parts of the vertical speed, the tones come faster. And when vertical speed isn't changing much, the tones come a bit slower. Let's try adding speech to this. So I'll go over to the FlySight configurator and we'll load the file that we've been working with. It's this one right here. If we go to the Tone tab, we can see, as expected, it's indicating vertical speed. Uh, we'll go down to the Speech tab, 
And let's add an indication for vertical speed here in kilometers an hour with no decimal places. In this case, the step parameter doesn't matter. And we'll make the period every five seconds. So we should hear vertical speed in kilometers an hour with no decimal places every five seconds. Next, we need to save this so the file on disk is updated. And then we go back to FlySight Viewer and we'll click the process button again. And once again, playback starts as soon as it's done. We'll click pause. And again, let's move the cursor to three seconds before exit. And we'll click play. Three, seven, nine, five, seven, six. Okay, so now we hear speech as well as tones. Nine, one. So finally, let's try also adding a video. I'll import the video. And the first thing we'll do is we'll set the exit. So we're watching for the cameraman to exit. Right there. And I'll hit pause. So now if we move the slider in the video, you can see it moves the cursor in the data plot behind the video and also in the simulation view on the left. Let's move the video view over to the left as well so it's out of the way. If we move the cursor in the simulation view, the same thing happens. So we move the other two cursors as well. Let's uh, again move just a few seconds before exit and see what happens when we hit play. Three, seven. So when we do this, the video view is a little bit jumpy. Nine, five. Because this is being driven by the simulation view. Seven, six. But it's enough that we can get an idea of what's going on. We can see. Nine, one. When the cameraman is trying to catch up, the vertical speed slows down. Four, four. And when the bass starts to drop below the camera. Six, zero. We hear the tones go up as he tries to fall down to it. Seven, seven. Seven, five. Finally, of course, if we hit the play button in the video view, uh, the video will drive things, but instead of hearing the simulated audio, we'll hear the video audio. That's it. I'm excited to be able to deliver this to you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know, and thank you for watching.